Good morning, Pastor students and staff. Today is Wednesday, February 21st, 2024. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we'll recognize a moment of silence. Thank you everyone. Our announcements for today are as follows. Spring pictures take place today. All students will take pictures. Teachers, please see the schedule sent by Miss Medina by email or that posted in GroupMe. Today is an early dismissal day. Students will be released at the early dismissal time of one o'clock. As always students, we ask that you go home immediately and safely at dismissal. There will be no gifted check-ins this week due to gifted testing. Gifted check-ins will resume next Thursday. Our final Friday event will take place next Friday. Yes, we did have to postpone it by one week, but don't worry, it will still take place. Again, our final Friday event will take place next Friday, which is March 1st. Students in kindergarten through second grade must purchase with Dojo Points Students in third through eighth grades must have a valid pride card. This month's Student of the Month celebration will take place this Friday in the Pastor Gym. Teachers, please be sure to enter the name of your Student of the Month by the end of day Wednesday, that's today, so that certificates may be printed. That does conclude our announcements for today. Our words of wisdom are on virtue. Good morning, Pastor Pride. This is Mrs. Acosta with a few words of wisdom. How many of you have heard the word virtue? It's not a word many people use anymore, but it's a very good word. In fact, virtue means goodness. There have been many heroes in the world who have shown us what virtue looks like, like Mother Teresa. She took care of so many sick and hungry people. And there are characters with virtue in some of the stories we read and watch, like Belle in Beauty and the Beast. She was good enough and brave enough to risk her life for her father's. There's an old American proverb that goes like this, without virtue, there can be no happiness. In other words, we can't really be happy unless we try to be good. So how do we learn to live good lives? One important way is to study the lives of heroes. If you want to be a person with virtue, ask your teacher or librarian to help you pick out a book that can help you learn about more people with virtue. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Acosta. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Pastor.